I'm thinking I might need to size down in this, which I did. Hey, Angus here with the Vivo Barefoot Motus Flex, an absolutely outstanding, beautiful shoe, super flexible, super movie. In fact, I don't think this is a shoe. I think, ugh, let me reach over here. This Vivo Barefoot, this is a shoe. This is more like a glove. It's more anatomical. It more fits your foot. This has shoe-like properties, a barefoot shoe. This is like a barefoot glove, really molding with your foot. And with that comes a few kind of fitting issues. So this is my regular size in Vivo Barefoot. These ones fit absolutely magic. So while I'm editing this video, I just want to do a quick interruption. What I mean difference between a glove and a shoe. A shoe, you kind of leave a little thumb space before the end, and that's fine in a shoe, in a barefoot shoe, or any other type of shoe. But with this being more of a glove-like molded onto your foot, you might not want that thumb space. You won't want your big toe all the way to the end, which I think would suit this shoe. But keep watching the video to see what I choose and why. However, because it's very fitted, to your foot, you kind of got your ball of your foot should be sitting around here, where your toe bends here with this groove, which is actually a really nice addition. My big toe is not quite big toe enough for this. So despite the fact I got this in my regular size, I'm thinking I might need to size down in this, which I did in the white, which I'm not a fan of white trainer, but Vivo Barefoot sent me these to review, so I asked for the size down since I had these. These ones I bought and paid for myself. Where these ones they sent me for review, but one of these is gonna have to go back. So this is the size down. Like I say, not particularly a fan of a white trainer because I'm just gonna make this dirty. It's just gonna get dirty absolutely instantly in here. But if you're a fan of white trainer, this is a stunning white trainer. I am in the size down. Yes, it does fit a little bit more. It's a little bit more snug. Again, I have a really wide foot. I really can't emphasize that enough. So if you have a normal foot, this is gonna fit beautifully. My toes do allow you to wiggle in there. Just curves in a little bit. But for me, it's a really hard decision. And I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of reviews on these shoes where people are like, oh, you might want to size down or you might not want to size down. If you take the insole out of the smaller size and wear it sockless, and you're really using this for like animal flow, yoga type thing, um, and you really like a really minimalist feel, you might want to size down. Where your normal size might not fit quite right, if you have a slightly longer, more elongated foot, I think this is gonna be good, but if you have a short stubby foot, like me, that's quite wide, then you might want to size down. I'm gonna keep the bigger size, because A, the color's pretty good, B, I can wear socks with these, and then I can wear them insole, outsole, and I'm just gonna break them in. So this is Chris's foot, and he's a size eight, and his toe comes to the end, and if he lifts his toe, the whole toe moves. So this fits Chris's foot perfect. It's this normal trainer. So I'm not gonna make Chris take off his toe, but his knuckles there, and his toe's quite long there. So he fits that foot quite well, even though this one, is actually a size seven. So young Duncan here is about six, if you lift up your big toe. So big toe kind of comes here. And if we come here, this doesn't bend with it, but fits nice here, but there. So better fit on Chris. And this one's the size six in size. So Duncan could probably size down in this. So in conclusion to the Vivo Motus Flex, it's a really tough one whether you should size down or get your regular size or not. It would be ideal if you could get into the shop. Comparing both sizes, the size down, the regular size, it's a little bit snug on my wide foot. It is quite nice. It does feel really good. I wonder what it would be like if I broke this in, but because I don't want to damage this because I want to send this one back, um, I'm not going to do that. I am going to keep these. I'm actually wearing the other one just now is the size I'm deciding to stick with uh, rather than the size down and these are the exact same size as my other Vivo so if that's something that you're worried about I would tend to be like if you really want it snug and you really want that glove style fit you might want to size down but if you want a the most versatile probably your regular size will be okay